The heating in your property is underfloor heating, which is considered to be the most efficient way of transferring heat into a room. It uses lower water temperatures than those used by traditional radiator heating systems, although it will take longer to heat up. Therefore, we would recommend turning the system on two to four hours before you need it. Your heating works by distributing the warm water through a circuit of pipes beneath the finished floor. This water is supplied via your cylinder and air source heat pump, controlled by the hot water controller, the control system and manifolds, and regulated by a thermostat in each room. The underfloor heating system has been configured to be very low maintenance, so you should not have to adjust any settings other than on your controller and thermostat. However, should you want to check that these systems are working, there are a few checks you can do. First, ensure the air source heat pump outside is turned on and the cylinder in the cupboard is turned on and operating. Then check the switch labelled heating is turned on and the heating and hot water controller is turned on and operating. Next, check the control system and manifolds by removing the panel in the wardrobe and checking that all the applicable valves are turned on. Please remember, if the valve is going with the flow of water, then it is turned on, and if it is at a 90 degree angle to the flow of water, it is turned off. Once you have checked the valves and switches, you can check your underfloor heating. Firstly, check that any thermostat is turned on and high enough that it is actually calling for heat in any specific room. A flame symbol should appear on the thermostat like this. You will also see that the control system box in the wardrobe should have a corresponding light and the corresponding valve on the manifold should move down if there is a flow of water. With all of these checks done, you should find that your underfloor heating is working. Your cylinder is a pressurized system and you can check the pressure using the gauge on the front of your unit. This should be set to around 1.5 to 2 and if it is too low, your cylinder will not be able to send hot water to your underfloor heating and will need to be repressurized. To do this, you will need to use the filling loop connected to these two valves. Turn both the valves on and you should see the pressure start to increase. When it reaches between 1.5 to 2, turn the valves off. Your cylinder should now be repressurized and your heating and hot water working. If you are still experiencing problems with your underfloor heating, please contact customer care.